Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Bianca Bruce. I'm a business and branding strategist and today we are outdoors. Why? Because we are hustling. Listen, you are probably on Instagram just as much as I am and if you're not, you really should be and follow us at Bianca Bruce on Instagram as well as on Facebook and LinkedIn. You get the idea. But we're out and about because we know on social media there is this hashtag. It's called hashtag hustle. I'm all about the hashtag hustle. But I have a feeling that those of us who hashtag hustle I'm probably not really hustling. So today we're outdoors, we're outside at a park in between appointments. My right hand associate producer is on the other side of this camera and we're taping because I decided that my commitment is more important than perfection. Now I know that shouldn't have been a decision, but it sometimes needs to be because listen, the competition and the words and the goons and the worries can get really, really overwhelming. Why am I telling you this? Because the one thing outside of my value proposition, which I make a really big deal about, even as you're watching these videos, go back and acquaint yourself with what a value proposition is. I make a big deal about that. It's very important. But even more important than that, often, is your inner circle. Who's your inner circle? This week, I heard somebody refer to you as your board of directors. Every company has a board of directors, people chosen specifically to sit and advise, to have the company's best interest at mind, to know what's going on, not just with the finances of a company, but also with the people of a company, to understand what the market is doing and how they want to grow, to plan for the future in a sensible and thoughtful way. When you are in business, when you are doing your good work, you need a board of directors. Because we're not a corporation, we refer to it as an inner circle. People you have access to. Imagine yourself standing in the center of a circle. And as you're turning and pivoting and doing that 360 rotation, who is standing there? Whose face do you see? Who do you call? Who do you ask for advice? They don't have to be experts in your field. In fact, sometimes it's best that they are not experts in your field. They don't have to be your best friends. In fact, sometimes it's better if they are not your best friends. Although a good best friend can definitely be in your inner circle. But I want you to think of the people you think of when you run into a problem in your work, in your life as it impacts your work. And think of calling them and asking them specifically if they would be your inner circle. Make them commit to you as you commit to them. This is super important. So I did, I do have a very tight inner circle and when I talk to them about my dissonance or my worry or when I drop the ball or when I get upset or when I get totally lost in my value prop, I call on them and they have a way of reminding me of who I am, whose I am, and why I do what I do. So that is why I'm talking to you in a park, in between the real life hustle. It's not staged, it just is. This is the life of an entrepreneur. If you can relate to this, I am not trying to sell you anything. I just wanna know that you know that you're not alone. We're all in this together. Every single one of us has something we're challenged with and that we are constantly pushing up against. So I want you to know you're not alone. If you care to comment, if you care to reach out, if you care to say, hey, yes, I am there with you. I'd love to know. Of course, I would invite you to sign up for my newsletter and follow me on Instagram and talk to me on all the social media outlets. But more important than that, I just need you to know that you got what it takes you just gotta engage it. And the hustle is not a hashtag. It's an exhausting endeavor. And you are not alone because I'm with you. And I hope you make your inner circle full of people who get you and challenge you and come along with you. It's so good to talk to you. I'll be here again next week. 
We have a couple of projects that we're planning and I cannot wait for you to see what they are. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Thank you.